Hello everyone, my name is Melissa Dukic and I'm a physician assistant here at Hartford Healthcare, Go Health and Urgent Care in Avon. And I'm here to talk to you about the difference, differences between viral upper respiratory infections and bacterial infections. So the first thing I wanna talk about was the common cold. So the common cold is a viral infection of the upper respiratory tract. Um, causes include the rhinovirus, coronavirus, influenza virus, and there are many other viruses that cause these infections. Um, the symptoms include cough, congestion, runny nose, fever in young children, and ear pressure. Um, nasal discharge can be clear, yellow, and green. Um, the color of the mucus does not indicate whether this is viral or bacterial, um, despite popular belief. Um, and the great news is that since the common cold is caused by a virus and antibiotics don't kill viruses, uh, symptoms will resolve without antibiotic use, and the treatment is really symptomatic. So anything that's going to lessen your symptoms until your body fights the infection. Um, so we recommend warm, soothing fluids, cough drops, over-the-counter cold medications, Tylenol and Motrin. And then um, the great thing about colds is that you can prevent spreading the illness um, if you are sick. Um, we recommend you wash your hands after touching your face, your nose, or your mouth. Um, if you cough in your hands, you should definitely wash your hands. Um, and when you do cough and sneeze, you should always cough and sneeze into your elbow and not into your hands like this. Um, and you should also avoid sharing food and drinks with people while you're sick. Uh, the second uh, common viral respiratory infection we see here in the urgent care is acute bronchitis. And this is a viral infection of the lower respiratory tract. Um, and it is also caused by a variety of viruses. Um, Symptoms include dry or productive cough for about five days, and it can last for three weeks. Um, and the sputum can be clear, yellow, and once again, that's not gonna tell us if this has turned into a bacterial infection. Um, some other symptoms include wheezing and shortness of breath. Uh, and acute bronchitis does not typically cause fevers, so if you do have a fever um, greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, you should definitely seek medical attention and come to one of our urgent cares. Um, and bronchitis may start out as a common cold with headache, congestion, and sore throat, and then turn into mostly a coughing um, infection. And then uh, we diagnose people with bronchitis based on their clinical symptoms. So typically we don't need labs or imaging um, unless we think you may have pneumonia. If you have a fever or we hear abnormal breath sounds when we listen to your lungs, uh, we may order an x-ray to see if you do have pneumonia because that will be a bacterial infection, which is the next thing that we wanted to talk to you about today. So there are many different kinds of pneumonia, uh, but I wanted to talk about um, community-acquired pneumonia, also known as walking pneumonia, because uh, this is the one that most people come to the urgent care with. Uh, it is an acute bacterial infection of the lungs, and symptoms include coughing, fever greater than 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit, chest pain, shortness of breath, and sputum production. Um, one type of pneumonia can cause rust-colored sputum, and then another kind can cause nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea. Um, so if you have a productive cough and a fever greater than 100.4, you should come to the urgent care right away, um, especially if you're an older individual or the sick individual is a baby or infant. Um, and we are able to confirm that someone has pneumonia by getting a chest x-ray. And if it is confirmed, um, then we'll prescribe you an antibiotic and most likely repeat your chest x-ray in six weeks to make sure that it resolved properly. Um, the last infection that we wanted to talk to you about today is pertussis. Um, it's a respiratory infection with three phases. Uh, so the first phase lasts one to two weeks and people usually have a runny nose, mild cough, low grade fever, and feel kind of sick and malaise, um, almost like a regular cold. Um, but it doesn't go away um, and then phase two begins when you have a severe fits of coughing where multiple coughs occur in a row, um, and sometimes you'll have a whooping sound um, when you breathe in after coughing. And some people even vomit from coughing, and we call that post-tussive emesis. Um, and then phase three evolves eventually, and that can last another one to two weeks, and that's when you have a slow, slow improvement of your cough. Um, healthy teens and adults often won't develop such severe symptoms, but elderly people and young children can be um, get really sick from this kind of infection. Um, so diagnosing this illness starts with recognition of the symptoms, including that cough that leads to another cough, to another cough, um, that whooping noise, or the throwing up after coughing. Um, can also be based 
on exposure to pertussis um, in people who have had a cough for about two weeks. And then we do have a lab test, a nasal swab can confirm this infection. And the great news is this illness can be prevented with a vaccine. Um, the Tdap, um, tetanus diphtheria pertussis shot, will protect, pretend, protect against this illness. Um, and it's given out pretty commonly. Um, even if you cut your foot, you'll get this vaccine or get a scrape um, and it'll cover you for pertussis. So, and if you do end up getting pertussis, um, the treatment is azithromycin or a Z-pack, um, or it's relative antibiotic clarithromycin. Um, so the important takeaways from today are that viral illnesses like the common cold and bronchi acute bronchitis do not require antibiotics. Um, antibiotics will not change the duration of your illness and it won't make it go away. Um, if you have a fever and a cough, you should come into the urgent care. Um, you may need an x-ray to rule out pneumonia. And then lastly, something we didn't mention yet, is that if you do smoke or are a former smoker and have a cough that's not resolved, um, you should come in to be evaluated. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Melissa Dukic from Hartford Healthcare, Go Health Urgent Care, and thanks for listening.